Hey there, it's Elizabeth Mack with the Tallahassee Democrat, and you're watching another edition of Limelight Live. This week I am downtown at the Le Moyne Center. Joining me for this edition is Dean Joya. Hello, Dean. Hello. And <laughs> Ann Kozlowski, the Executive Director of Le Moyne. Go ahead and say hi. Hello, everyone. And uh, this week we're going to talk about, I'm always constantly talking about art that's going on in Tallahassee, but this week I'm so honored and thrilled to have an actual artist here with me on my show. So excited. <laughs> and actually be at a very lovely art exhibit. I had a chance to look at all the pieces and it's gorgeous. And Go ahead, Dean, tell us a little bit more about um, the exhibit. Uh, the title of the show is Americana. Uh, it's 70 paintings strong. And it features uh, what I've been known for for several decades here in North Florida and around the southeast, actually. A lot of landscapes which are very uh, light-filled and atmospheric and luminous. Uh, light is kind of my thing. They're also very textural and have a lot of hidden color in them. When you see them up close, they're very layered. There's a lot of that work. Uh, there's a lot of um, structure work, uh, architectural type work. And then the painting behind us is a scene from the North Florida Fair. It's my favorite one. Her favorite <laughs> one. And it's called Teddy because there's this guy holding a teddy bear at the front of it. But it's an evocative uh, nocturnal scene uh, featuring the fluorescent lights and, and the odd characters scurrying about the scene. Uh, something I've been playing with for a, a couple of decades, really. And there's a lot of nocturnes in the show besides this one. Uh, but then there's another aspect of the show which is all new for me. It's just come along in the past year where I'm dealing with uh, abstraction, uh, just pure abstract color, design, and form. Then there's another uh, element of surrealism and um, interior paintings in the show of people in their homes at night and they're kind of a little spooky and unsettling and strangely lit and all often suggest a sort of almost interdimensional quality where worlds are intersecting, which is something from my, uh, my own experience as a child. I sort of had a foot in another world, it seemed. So then, Dean, tell me how long have you been a painter? I've been a painter for 50 years. So when did you get your stars? Southwest yeah, Junior there. High School, Lakeland, <laughs> uh, C.H. Thomas is our class. Okay. I'd never taken art before. I took art. I started painting in watercolors, and he told me I was great. You know, it was a lot of uh, uh, inspiration he gave me and support from, from the very start. You're really good at this, you know, and that's how I got that in my head at an early age. This okay. is something I can do. And I just hung in there and stayed with it. Uh, I always had somewhere to paint in my life, a room reserved. And I came to Tallahassee, graduated from Florida State with a degree in filmmaking, but I never stopped painting. And within a year or two after school, I turned pro, and that's all I've done ever since. Okay. So then, Anne, how do you go about, I guess, how does LeMoyne go about pulling in these exhibits? And it's, it's been, man, yeah, it's a pretty wide variety, and then there are various art shows that go on, and mm -hmm. so. How do you go and tell me what exhibits you want? And then we can't forget you know, the festival that happens. Every Absolutely. Year. Well, we have established a, an exhibition selection committee. Mm -hmm. And I've pulled artists from the community. Um, okay. Beverly Frick, a very well-known photographer. Um, Marilyn Proctor Gibbons, who's a ceramics art teacher from um, Lincoln High School. And uh, Dr. Liu Nan, who is an associate professor at FAMU. Mm -hmm. And uh, we meet and um, we have a certain selection of uh, standards that we work around. Mm -hmm. And then um, people are invited in, such as, as Dean. We had the opportunity to have a one-man show for Dean. It's been seven, eight years since he exhibited here. So uh, we're very excited to be able to mount this show. Uh, it is the last show of the year for us because mm -hmm. after this comes down, we close down for almost the entire month of November prepare to prepare for, for our holiday show, which yeah. is a, it's a jolly holiday be merry is the theme this year. Okay. And we will be having 100 artists from the community and the vicinity around 
that will be uh, bringing their work here for sale. We'll be designing ornaments for the show specifically for the people who have over the last 22 years or 47 years uh, become accustomed to coming to Lemoyne to buy these items, but we are returning Lemoyne to the art. We're, we're bringing art back to the people okay. and cutting way back on mass manufactured product. And then so how many exhibits, I guess, does Lemoyne feature every year? Well, um, I uh, came on board a year ago this past June and um, since then have been mounting a show once every month. And um, next year, the, the schedule 2012, uh, we're going to a six-week schedule. Okay. So we'll be cutting back on the number of exhibits and, and giving a little more time to the, the individual shows. Okay, so Americana, I'm, I know it's already been up since I believe it was the 7th of October, right? Yes, it opened uh, first Friday gallery, huh? Mm -hmm. October 7th. And then so how long will the exhibit be here? It's not going to be here much longer. Uh, it'll close October 29th, the last Saturday of the month. Okay, so you still have a little bit of time to check it out. When can they come in? Oh, gallery out? hours yes. are Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5. Okay, so you still have a little time to come check it out. I'd highly suggest it. I, I walked around, oh my gosh, what was it, like 10 minutes? We <laughs> talked about it. I was just so fortunate to be able to ask them all kinds of questions. <laughs> She did ask a lot of questions. Too. Private show. It's, it's a part of the job. Yeah. <laughs> it's a part of the job. Well, it's a part of, I guess, my human nature to ask a lot of questions as a journalist. But I had a very thriving interest in it all, so I couldn't help myself but to ask. But you can also purchase the paintings, right? You sure can. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us more about that. How can they go about doing that? Well, you come down here and write a check for one. That's <laughs> kind of how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> or nice. or, like or use your there, credit card. Marinade. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we won't stand in the way of that. <laughs> you know, so if there's one that sits well with your heart and you just feel like you can't you know, go on without it, you could definitely take some paintings home with you as long as you're not going to purchase Yeah, we won't them. limit it to one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Please, just let, let us know how many we need to load up. <laughs> Trucks right outside. That's right. Yeah. Don't we'll we'll deliver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as usual, there are other things going on in town that I am going to bring. Um, let's see. Starting off Wednesday, Jesus Christ Superstar, which is, I think, a favorite for everyone just mm -hmm. about. It, um, the FSU School of Theater is putting that on at the Fallon Theater at 8 p.m. on Wednesday, so feel free to check that out. <clears throat> Excuse me. On Thursday, third Thursdays at Museum of Hist Florida History, uh, they have an event every third Thursday of the month where they pretty much they have a talk and you can check out the exhibit. It's free from 5 to 8 p.m. I know that this week they'll be talking about geocaching, so if you're into that kind of thing, feel free to, yeah, feel free to get in that. on that lecture. <laughs> and then uh, Jake Owen will be at Floyd's Music Store at 7.30 p.m. I think he's really popular here in town. At least a lot of my friends and people that I've just run into saying, do you know about Jake Owen? It's like, so if you're a Jake Owen fan, He'll be at Floyd's Music Store, 7.30 p.m. Uh, feel free to give them a call to check out what the ticket prices are. Uh, the Royal Garden Dixieland Band uh, will be at Cathay Garden Concert Series at St. John Episcopal Church, which is actually right downtown here as well, from 12.30 to 1 p.m. And that's also on Thursday, you know, so feel free to check that out. Starting off Friday, you know, it's another FSU home game. Which means we have a downtown get down. Yay. Yay. I love our downtown get down. I do too. It's a nice community <laughs> event. Absolutely. <laughs> Eat a hot dog. Have some fun. That's right. I, yeah. If anything, I think I really do go for the food more so. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it's just because to I like to eat. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, and it's only there for like every time there's only a downtown get down or a downtown festival. So I, you just have to take it there. Walking with a beer in your hand. That's kind of fun too. <laughs> <laughs> and that as well. I've enjoyed that actually. Um, but that is from 6 to 10 p.m. at Adams. At Adams and Jefferson to park. It's where it's all the people will be. That's yeah. Right. Right. Just, look for, <laughs> just look for all the people. Find a parking follow spot the music. and follow. Yes, find a parking spot and follow the music. Get here early so you can get a good parking spot. Because I think I came to the downtown get down for the OU game. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Bring your comfortable shoes. I had never I parked so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the farthest I ever had to park. I was all the way down past the bus station. It oh my nice goodness. Walk. It was a very nice walk. So get there early. 
I learned my lesson. <laughs> um, also, Crew de Gras is having a get down in Midtown from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. They're having acoustic music outside, live band inside. So if you don't want to, you know, get that street festival feel, you want something a little more intimate, check out Crew de Gras in and Midtown. If you've never been to Crew de Gras, you need to go. It's a great yeah. place. It is. Lots awesome. of fun. It's very New Orleans like. Mm -hmm. So if you've never been to New Orleans, just get a little taste if you go to Crew de Gras. Yeah. Just a little taste. Um, oh. Free for All, a cabaret at the Mickey Faust Club. You know, they do their performance mm, every year. So wonderful. that, yes, it's at 8 p.m. on Friday. It's $15 general admission, $10 for students, retirees, and those with disabilities. I would highly suggest checking it out. They're a really creative group of individuals, and they always put on a good show. Uh, I'd say it's probably definitely worth checking out. Absolutely. Um, and then Saturday, uh, the 13th annual Fall Fever at Redwood Square will be going on from 3 to 8 p.m. This is another one of my favorite art districts. I was mm -hmm. explaining to Dean, actually. I said, I usually go to the exhibits on First Fridays, and I go around and check. And you're always wanting the artist to be there to ask questions, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're never there. So you're just asking yourself these questions. He said, you have to answer your own questions. And I said, yes, but it's always just good that you're here now, and now I can ask you <laughs> questions and get a definitive answer. But I wouldn't answer. answer questions anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make it get smarter. Well, you can make up your own <laughs> answers, you yeah, know? I mean, make it fit into your lifestyle. That's true. They're I mean, all for sale. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, if you go to New Orleans, you can see my work at Sutton Galleries on Royal Street in New Orleans. Oh, there you go. Very good. I've been to New Orleans um, once. I'm kind of kind of I go there a lot because of my works over there. And it's, it is They're really crazy big. Place. I love New Orleans. It's crazy. It's a crazy place, but the one thing, like, at night, it's I notice it's different between night and day. At night, it's a completely crazy place. Mm -hmm. In the daytime, though, like, all the artists will be out there on the street painting, and there's musicians, people mm -hmm. dancing. It's, it's just... I don't, it's hard to explain. It's how life should be. It's, it yeah. is. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I almost I thought to myself, I could move there. But then I thought about it again and said, but I'd have to leave Tallahassee. Uh, well, it's only a day trip away. away. That's true. Seven hours. Not even, not that far from not even six hours. I think it took me seven hours. Well, Maybe. Well, that was my first time going. That was my first time going. Took a couple of side trips on the way. Yeah, Maybe I think it's a little lost. <laughs> But then um, also for Saturday, if you're into, you know, nature, uh, the Monarch Butterfly Festival is going to be going on at the St. Mark's Nature Classroom and Lighthouse. They're charging $5 a car, which is not that bad, That's you know. That's a really cool thing, by the way. Yes. I ride my bike there a lot. A lot of people ride their bikes there. It is uh, I think it's thing. amazing how they tag the butterfly. Yes. You know, little stickers on their wings about the size of a punch bowl. Because, you know, like, their wings are so fragile. So mm -hmm. you're thinking, gosh, like, what are they? So 10 to 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., if you want to check it out, I'd say it's worth it. It's interesting to me. I mean, butterflies are really beautiful. They you are. Know, they're a lovely part of addition to nature. Um, and if you have any energy left after all of this, Sunday, well, this is actually kind of calm and relaxing. The Moonlight Jazz in the Gardens is at McClay Gardens from 6 to 9 p.m. It's $25 a person, but I don't know. It's another chance to check out live music here in the community, and it's jazz. I love jazz. I'm not saying you have to check it out because, you know, I love it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you might enjoy that it. That is what she's saying, by the way. <laughs> I think Take you would advice. enjoy it. Take, Take my advice. advice. I think you would enjoy it. And McClay, uh, if anything else, is just beautiful, Absolutely. especially this time of year. So, I mean... I'm okay. supposed to be cooler this, with this front of the That's true, mm -hmm. which nice to me is a little saddening because I'm not ready for it to get, you know, cooler. I, I like my summer days. Uh, you know. Yeah, but 104 degrees. You're right. I was oh. happy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I think That's I was the only person who was happy. Too. I think so, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, is there anything else that either of you like to add? I'm ready to go home now. <laughs> I think that'll do it. All right. Well, that's all I've got for you this week. Thanks for joining us, and I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.